we're going to take a brief glimpse into the wild world of Neil. Neil is unto himself. I don't know if you're ready uh, to see exactly what I'm about to show you. I don't know what your preconceived notion is, but I listen to Neil every day of my life before I worked at WIOD. So picture me, if you will, rolling over in the semi-waveless to the sound of this. News Talk Radio 610 WIOD presents The Neil Rogers Show. To talk with Neil, dial 751 WIOD from Dade in Broward 524 WIOD. Outside the 305 area code, toll free 1-800-944 WIOD. And Bell South Mobility customers make it a free call by dialing star IOD. Now, The Neil Rogers Show on News Talk Radio 610 WIOD. And another thing that I'm discovering by listening to their show is how repressed I've allowed myself to become working for this company and working for a Gannett and now working for the even Buddy Bud, holier than Brett Barbary, man, holier than God. Even he's given him like enough rope to uh, do their thing over there. And we're sitting here and like, oh, geez, you better bleep out that the arch back and bended knee, man, because uh, we're scared crapless at Cox Broadcasting. We're scared of our own shadow. If you ever heard WSB in Atlanta, which is our like flagship station up there, you, you think you've heard a boring station before in your life. They are comatose. The news is boring. The talk is boring. Even the IDs are boring. Everything on that station is, it's like, uh, put you into an immediate coma. Even a redneck's go into a coma from that station up there. And that's the Cox corporate mentality. Go out, oh yeah, go out and get us a 10 share, but don't say anything. Don't do anything like creative, and God forbid, don't say unit on the air. That seems to be the big word on Ron and Ron, is that they're like squeezing their unit all the time. And it's working, man. They're squeezing it and something's happening. God, I'm like shaken just even saying that. Neil, God! So uh, Father Jim is in the other room with his little handheld uh, thing. He's holding it. And he's taking pictures of George. Now, George has got a big smile on his face, but little does George know what Jim's going to do with those pictures when he gets home while Randy's on the air tonight. Isn't that beautiful? A split screen. There I am looking pale and pasty on one side, and there's George all lit up like a Christmas tree with his punk jacket on, on the other side, making a big puss at the Father Jim. Here's Kissimmee. Hello. Hey, Neil. Yeah. Hey, you talking about... Probably wouldn't be the first big puss that Father Jim has seen. Yes? Neil. Yes, sir. Here's some conversation you can really sink your teeth in. Okay, I'm sinking. All right, I just got out of my car. Before I got out of my car, I farted in the car, and then it was like really hot out. Yeah. And then I went out for like 10 minutes, and I came back. And it was still there. Oh! Beautiful! Oh! It Excellent. Was, ah, so it's like, it, I got the window down a little bit, mm -hmm. and it's just going away now. That's the champion fart, sir, is the oh. one that lingers, like yeah, for minutes and hours and weeks and months, the one that just becomes like part of the woodwork. My question That's the is, best fart. My question is, should I, should I leave the window up or put the window down? It depends on how much you're enjoying it. Should I time it? Yeah. All right. Put the timer on, see how long you can, it can last. All right. And the fart, too. All right. Oh, can I call somebody a douchebag? Go ahead. Mike. You're a no-talent, golf-playing, money-winning douchebag! Okay. Beautiful. That's the kind of call we need a lot more of right there. Neil! God! Here's a lady in Port Charlotte. Hello. Hi, Neil. Hi. This is Margaret. Oh, Margaret. You're chronic, Margaret. No, you're out of control. No, I'm not. Yeah, you're uh, chronic and you're old. No, I will. That's all right. That's all no, right. No, it's not all right. It's all right for you. It's not all right for me. You're killing me, you're Margaret. Boy, are you chronic, man. You're just killing me. I got one question. Yeah, killing me. You're, no. You call like every five minutes you call. I uh, hear you in my, in my sleep, in my nightmares. Neil, you know when they pitch out. I can't take I'm... you anymore. I can't stand it. Neil! Speaking of bald faced, how's Steve Ziegler doing? It's uh, 1223. <laughs> Funny. Oh, man, look at that with that light shining on his head. Talk about a big star. Talk about, he could like light up. We don't need the sun, forget it. He could light up the entire universe with that bald palette there. Man, what a guy. Cousin Brucey's got nothing on Steve Ziegler. Uh, although I know some people who do. I think Lisa, who's one hell of a hot looking babe, I think she'd be, what's wrong with that? That's a compliment. Everybody said you're the most beautiful woman in the building. Voluptuous and lovely, although somewhat flat chested, but beautiful. It's just a radio show, Lisa. God. Here's Miami on the uh, Starline. Hello. Now I'm even with you for all those spots. Neil, God. 
So this is one thing. Let me tell you right now, Don and Mike, that opinion will never change. They blow. They suck. You can hear it when you turn on the radio. You hear the suction. You think we're having another hurricane coming. That's how bad Don and Mike are. Oh, God. They, they need a shock, man. They need like an electric prod stuck up their ass and somebody like generate about 80,000 volts maybe to wake them up. I'm maybe, telling you. Maybe it's time uh, for you to get back to an FM station. It's something to think about. Hey, buddy, the Cubs suck. Yeah? I just thought I'd let you know. Three in a row tonight, we're going to make it four. How do you like that? Hey, how about the Mars? Is that an exciting game or what? We one? are doing it. That was incredible, man. That was just uh, mind-blowing. I'm really impressed by it, man. They didn't give up not one. I know it. Just and like that game that we lost to the Mets, even though we lost it. Remember that 10-9 to game? Yeah. We're down 6-1 to in the sixth inning, and we score, uh, I think, seven runs in the sixth inning and just battled back, and then they went ahead 9-8, to and we tied it in the bottom of the ninth. This is a team with balls, man. The old guy. I did that one time when I was about 15 years old. Neil, God, does that man hold court or what? See, that's what it's all about. Special guy. So we wanted to dedicate a little song to him, and with Anna Maria's help, we came up with this. Neil, this is for you. By the time I get through the next couple of minutes, she is going to have to pick every scab off that putrid, pus-filled body of hers, all right? Nobody rips you better. And, and I, so I'm going crazy on this, yes, because this has got to stop. You make me sick, Pat, you bitch! God! How is it possible to be so stupid, Pat? Nobody rips you, an ass as good as Neil. You idiot, you asshole, you. Baby, he's the best. Well, sing this, you fat slob. I'm going to take this cord and I'm going to shove it right up his ass, okay? And I'm going to shove this thing so far up his butt that he's going to be singing a different tune when I get through with him. Don't we have a longer cord than this piece of crap? Look at this. Look how short this damn thing is. We've got a hundred assholes running around this building. They can find another one besides him, although maybe not that big. Go oh, get it out of there. Go pull a cord somewhere. Go do something. Pull what? In your case, a good question, okay? God. Nobody rips you back. Don't start looking once again, as always, to blame fat old Neil for whatever you're upset about. You disgusting, nauseating old slobs. Nobody rips you and as good as Neil. Old, crabby old bitches. Neil, if you don't repent, you're going to split hell wide open. You're, you're, yeah, I'm going to split it wide open. You know, I'm going to split it wide open your skull with a mallet, animal. you stupid old he bitch. Ah! There we go. Now we're cooking. <laughs> what did I just get through talking about it was old bags. We don't want you, lady, okay? Go get some knitting out. Go find some crossword puzzles to do. Go get uh, something. God almighty. He's a beautiful man. He's really, he's, he's more than a man. Not really, but... To me, yes. I mean, you know, uh, you, you gotta have like uh, some give and take in the station. You know what I mean? He like he drives me crazy sometimes. I think I drive him crazy sometimes. I mean, I know he likes me, but does he really like me? I mean, what what would Neil say like if my back was turned or something like that? I mean, would he like me or wouldn't he like me? Uh, you know, what does he like a lot about me? What does he like the least about me? I mean, these are the questions that like burn a hole in my heart. They burn a hole in my heart. They drive me like to the brink of uh, the suicide hotline. Okay, I'm like dialing Sean on hospital on speed dial already. Just wants me. What does Neil think about a Randy Rhodes? What could he possibly be thinking about me? <laughs> as a whole, as a whole, she's as round as they come. Is the nose, I would say, is my favorite thing. You know? That big, beautiful Jewish nose that's like into everybody's business, like Anna Maria's. No, Randy's a uh, psychotic bitch. That's what's great about her. Everybody should have at least one psychotic bitch on the ear, and we're the uh, lucky ones who got it. My least favorite thing about Randy is that neurotic uh, gym that she hangs on to, man. It's just uh, psychotic. She's like, a like Linus with a security blanket. Sever the cord, honey. Get yourself a little distance. Do something. Send him to camp. Send him to boys camp. Send him to the rectory. Get him uh, late or something. Let's just put it this way. She's no Don and Mike. Thank God. Ow. Oh. So, well, that's what he thinks of me. You know, live and learn. Get Kevorkian on the phone. Kill me. What can I say? I am psychotic. I'm completely psychotic.